All right. Just took down these guys in the barn very brutally. Um, from here, we've got to check the other barn, which I'm almost certain is empty. Then we can start moving down the road. We took out, I believe, we took out the Panzer Shrek that was over here. Um, really, everything's actually going better than I thought it would, other than the fact that I lost this scout detachment, which would have come in handy, because it's pretty much the only infantry I have. But uh, it is what it is. At this point, it might be wise to just group the whole unit together, consolidate firepower. Sorry for the delay, I just got to think about it, I don't know. That was the whole point of taking the barn, was so I could meet up over there. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm just going to drive through the field. I'm not worried about stray. I don't think there's any way they could hit me while I'm moving that quick, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, hunt forward. At different intervals. 20 seconds should be enough. This guy's going to be in the base of the building. He'll look that way, and then I'll send these two out to go in there. I'll have them wait 30 seconds to begin moving. This guy should have good visual on anyone coming from over there. Kind of want to make him open up. But I did take rifle fire last time I did that. Alright. And this, does this have a gun on it? I can't recall. Yeah, it does. But I need the scouts to be in the back of it to actually use it. That's right. Alright, we'll run it. So all that should really happen is these two vehicles here should move up one at a time, put additional pressure on the barns, and these guys over here should be on the way over, which they are. Look at that. I don't think anything will happen this turn. I'm going to guess that both enemies in this barn are dead. Yeah, it was the guy with the stin. It's this guy. Unnecessary, unnecessary killing of that German. Oh, we can already see in there. They're both dead. We saw in there for a second. Alright, so the barns are clear. Um, I can get the infantry back in this vehicle. And we can continue pushing. Now it looks like we've got some elevation on this ridge here. So I could send some vehicles out this way. I know what is that? I know that this is like supposed to be the monuments, I guess. Let's see. Show landmarks. Nope, it's it'd be the objective. I know there's some enemies here. But I suppose if I could bypass these houses. Five hundred points on offer and destroying the German forces is only up to eighty. That doesn't really give me enough incentive to clear house to house with the few men that I have. Um, ideally, I'll just sweep this road, shoot who I can, and get the hell out of here. I really don't want to deal with. I don't even want to come close to those houses with these vehicles. All right. So what I'll do here is the driver. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if embark is the same thing. I think he needs to actually acquire it. I could deal with that when the time comes. Alright, that's empty. So we'll clear the target arc. Move over here and turn that way. This guy will delete the target arc. He can face that way.
these little tiny shrubs are really going to break up visibility both ways. I'm going to leave him covering and these two will move up. They should be here at the end of this turn. Alright, looks good. I'm going to turn these landmarks back off and the objectives. I already know what I'm supposed to be doing. Here comes my boys. I really hope Embark is the correct command. Awesome. It's going to work out great. I'm going to send this vehicle along with this guy over on the left. These two very carefully are going to push up the road just a little bit. I'm still very worried about this area in here. And these vehicles have arrived. All right. So from here... Suppose we could hunt forward very carefully. And this is just a crappy little scout car that's not really too useful. Um, open him up. I guess the scout car could still just watch these. Brand could do something. I'll leave that one on point. And I think that should be good. This should be a sort of echelon shape. It is. Good enough. We'll just move up slowly. I got 30 minutes remaining, and usually these things let you go a little bit longer. The problem is, it's so hard to see out of vehicles, but if you open up, it's so easy to get killed. I really, really don't know what to do with vehicles by themselves. I've gotten a little bit better at combined arm stuff, but... It's a cool echelon shape I got going. I'm pleased with that. This guy's gonna get capped by that machine gun. I think they would see him, man, if they're still there. Nope. Nothing's gonna happen this turn. Alright. We're getting dangerously close. 200 meters out, that's within Panzer Shrek range. You're on the back of the gun, good. You can see, you can shoot, looks like. Okay. Just want you guys to proceed so carefully. No aim point anyways, huh? I'll move this guy up a little bit, but I should put him up over here, is what I should do. This is my one with all the ammo. This is the... I'm going to do it. I really doubt there'll be any enemy emplacements behind. 
to come about. I don't hate that. Okay, that'll work. Just spread out more to the left. Like I said, I'm trying to avoid these houses on the right to the best of my ability. I already know uh, I'm going to have to move in and spot them or get spotted at some point. I just need them to miss with their AT. I'm trying to keep them pretty spread out. What in the world do we have here? German in this field, huh? Well, if you want to take the time to take them out, you can absolutely override whatever your current orders are and do that. <laughs> That's very foreboding for that poor man. Oh, boy. That's a... Well, that's why I had him do the hunt command. Cool, that's a confirmed kill. Move up just a little bit. I mean, just wee bits at a time. I I don't think there's gonna be anybody in there anymore. Pretty sure I took out whatever's in there. Stupid to get close to it, though. You know what? I'm not going to do that. Oh, did I just cancel all the orders? I did. No reason to get close to it, though. I'm just going to continue. Coming out to the left of them. Okay. Where were my orders? Move up a little bit farther. You're like the commander of the whole platoon, so you can just come back here, stay behind. Hmm. All right. Do you still have orders? Oh no, you wouldn't have orders either. This was about where I wanted him. It was somewhere over here. It's a small ridge line I'd like to use. I don't get if there aren't enemies there anymore or what the situation is. If we just can't see them. They are kind of, there's a little bit of a slight hill there.
gonna burn another turn. How far does that put me? 200 meters from that tree line, 200 meters from there. That should be safe, unless there's an enemy underneath this tree or around it. You should see them soon enough if that's the case, because I am still pushing up with these guys. Continue, continue the march forward. That, where I'm about to be is really stupid. That's going to put me in serious. I'm not going to drive into that town. I'll stay posted up here with these guys. I at least want some tree cover. I'm not going to drive up into the urban area. should hunt and take a look. What will you be able to see from here? Should be able to see if there's anyone in that tree line. I don't mean to be low energy, but uh, I'm not going to say this is a boring mission, but it certainly doesn't have a lot going on, and it just requires me to be so careful. It's definitely not action-packed. The fact it's going to end up being like two hours worth of recordings. <laughs> it's probably not even that many enemies left. Alright, still nothing. We're just going to have to go for it. You would be able to see enemies and get right there. You're going to do that because your friends are moving up at the same rate. They can't kill us all. They can just kill enough of us to where the mission is deemed a failure. That's really it, huh? That's every unit I have. Alright. Oh, this is the Scarlet Minute. At least it's kind of cool. Let's all move it up together. Oh, I'm going to take so much. I, I just am so worried about that tree line. I'm so nervous and I just have to sit here for 30 seconds and deal with it. God, could I just leave now? What objective have I not done? Yeah, I really do need to secure the crossroads. That's kind of the whole point. Well, hold on a second. I mean, the main one is this. It's a hundred and eighty points. Well, this is that Saving Private Ryan moment, you know? Can we really just leave this for some other guys to run into? I mean, we know there's enemies here. But at the same time, we're just the recon element, you know? Our job really isn't to engage us. Couldn't we just report this to battalion and let them handle this? We're not really equipped. God, if I roll up over this hill, it is on and cracking. I mean, I'm just going to roll up over that hill and it's going to be... They're going to see me before I see them. That's going to be the case all the way around here. Look at this. God, we could just roll up with all of the vehicles at once and see what happens. 
I mean, they might not be there. Would they be shooting right here already? I could just escape right now. What if we just roll up on them? There's so many spots though. There's these buildings here, these buildings here. Trees here, trees here. Why? Why do I not have any infantry at all? Alright, boys. <laughs> yep, yep, there is an uh, AT gun there, apparently. Oh, look. I skipped over this guy spotting some Germans over there. So some stuff did happen, just when I decided to fast forward. What, what did we just spot? That's like, oh my word. Okay, a flat gun. Bad. Not good. He's got a really good sight on my... Ooh, and that guy started firing too. And he's firing at the flat crew. The Panzer Shrek missed. I, I guess I didn't need these guys to go scout up there. I believe, yeah. That Bren gun took out that guy. What a hero. Oh, man. Now I'm a bit smug. I really, I enveloped them fairly well. All right, scouts. You really don't need to be, uh... Kind of don't need you to do this now. Yep, that's enemies. You see them. You see them with your own two eyes. No, you don't. This this guy sees them. With your own optical sight. Oh, they see him too. That's some Lee Enfield fire, it sounds like. Wasn't it? Or was that them shooting at me? Oh my gosh. I messed up. I messed up big time. Okay, these guys need to hide immediately. You know what? Let's just do it. That Panzer Shrek's down. Presumably. I got guys that are now going in and are going to get killed. I gotta just go for it. So these guys are set to hide. That should drop them down. You could even pop smoke, I guess. Should, I don't think it would be necessary. If they lay down, it should be good enough. I don't even need to do hide. I could even just have them crawl. That should do the same thing. Crawl and then hide. I think that'll get them directly out. Forget, I'm just going to have them drive up fast. I really would like them not to get killed. I'm basically disregarding everything I said earlier about those buildings and getting up close to these vehicles, but now I feel like I don't have a choice. I forced the issue. You've got a good sight line there. Kind of. 
I don't want you to get any closer to that. You know, forget the direct target, I'll just give you a target arc. Use whatever gun you want. Okay, we gotta rescue those two men. Crawl out of there, boys. They're not even scared at all. Alright, it's on. Man, maybe I was playing too scared. Look at this. We're just rolling up in here and decimating them. Take him out. He's gonna use that Panzer Shrek, Panzer Faust. Take him out. He's crawling in there. All right, we can touch this crossroads easy. Then we're just gonna bounce. <laughs> easy. For like a good second there, we had like every vehicle opening up. Oh yeah, look at that. Broken. This guy though, this guy made it. He's crawling around. Alright, well I've basically broken these guys. Well, that sets me up for a really easy next episode. I'm just going to touch that point with one of these vehicles. I'll just send him in, touch it, and then we're leaving. I'm not going to worry about that other objective or any of that. I'm not going for 100% here. Uh, Timetables and all that, you know what I mean? Just got to be on the move. So, uh, cool. This is a perfect saving point. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.